There's a sign on a building in Finisterre that says the real Camino starts at the end. In my experience with two very different Caminos, this could not be more true. This is the part where we have to process all the lessons along the way and figure out how to integrate them into our normal lives. Wow. Bye. Bye bye. Going straight home with this task can be a little overwhelming, especially if you live in a big city like I do. I knew going straight back to New York City, where the people passing by hardly look at each other, let alone smile or say good morning, would be too much of a shock to my gooey little Camino heart. Best Camino friend forever. Yes. Yes, it is. So, I planned a transitional experience to dip my toes back into regular life. Five days in Porto, Portugal. Porto is only a four hour bus ride from Santiago. It also happens to be a popular starting point for the Camino Portuguese. So while Porto is very much a regular city in that it's not entirely centered around the Camino, if you look hard enough, you'll find undercover pilgrims wandering around a little dazed and confused. Bruno, a Camino friend and Porto native, picked me up from the bus station. <laughs> Two of my best friends from New York, Chelsea and Dana, decided to join me and were already there when I arrived. <laughs> fly, fly angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm striped. <laughs> Tiger. 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 Then we found Marco, Colin, Sarah, Aldo. And then the ultimate surprise Quentin. Being able to unwind and begin this process of integration in such a beautiful place with Camino friends and real life friends together was an extraordinary gift. Actually, haven't I ever been in a car with you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's the first time. No, it's the first time. Primeira vez no primeira vez no coche. Estou com você. Coche? Coche. Não sei qual. Carro. Carro. Primeira vez no carro. Stars are on outside 